but yeah, it's over 9,000. Um, but to have 58 or 50 whatever is just wild to see that that's possible. It's such a, it's such a weird number to have. It's a weird number to have. All right, so this looks like a first to three. All right, so I guess yeah. there was no first to four situation involved yet. Mm -hmm. but yeah, this will be an interesting one. These two are definitely the uh, the, the top two seeds, essentially. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they are. They're probably seeded that way, but if they're not... Uh, Correct. Yeah. Yeah. This is winner's finals. Two uh, previous Xeno TEC winners. I believe they're, they're tied at one apiece. And if I'm not wrong, I don't know if anybody's won more than one. I don't know if RJ has. I could be wrong about all this. I don't know my Xeno Tetris history that well. Me neither. All right, and we have signed our zoning here. A little bit of an awkward start to the zone, but phase one, long timer. Definitely gonna, okay, that's a nice 35 out of that. And Shock is taking, taking his time with this one. Yeah, figuring out what to oh, do, what to tank. That is a nice hot, tank. Damn. I like that, especially in a half zone situation. Jockey's just going to yeah. be able to quickly burst through that. And yeah, that is uh, canceled out. That was uh, very well played. Definitely a little bit of a Hail Mary, Hail Mary play. Yeah, it's it's scary to be doing those, but we saw how calculated that was from uh, Shockey's side there. We have moose in chat, and and Egu typing moose is alive. Wild that the April Fool's joke is uh, still going on this late into the year, but um, it was an April Fool's joke. It was an April Fool's joke originally. Yes. God. Let's see what Shocky does here. Oh, is that that's a fifty-six that is a 56 ulti? Fifty-six ulti. That is a very nice ulti there. Um, still oh. not phase three quite yet from either player here. And there we go. There's the sixty thousand mark. We are now in phase three. Yeah, this is, uh, this is where things get interesting. And uh, Shockey's sort of playing on the back foot a little bit, but uh, a, little, a little deceptive because he's kind of got a clean path down now. Yeah, this is some very nice stacking on Shockey's part, very quick stacking. Sayonara is up at the top of his board. Fighting a little bit of attack from the zone, 14. That is going to make its way to Shockey's board. Uh, missed drop on the JPs there. Both players finding themselves about even right now. Ooh, and then Z missed drop. Very defensive zone from Shockey right there. Sayonara using this quarter zone here. Okay, again, kind of close to even, but now Shockey is on the attacking side of this. Nice combo down stack here. Cyan are uh, dealing with it pretty well. How about the zone battle music? I haven't, heard, nice. I haven't heard it in some time. Yeah. Oh, I, is ooh, in a bad that's way not right a, now. That is not what you want right now. It's not uh, not insurmountable. Yeah, yeah no, that's that's, that's going to be the round. Hard to deal with those. Wow, that was the first one. Yeah, <laughs> welcome to TEC. We've got long rounds. Hope you enjoy it. a while. I haven't seen, I haven't watched anybody play this game in forever. <laughs> and we got a little Imperial Cross Imperial opener cross here. Imperial Cross opener. That's, uh, that's fun. That's, that's fundamentals right there. Yeah, exactly. Got the, got to get the double T-spin double setups. Yeah, why, why wait for the mid game for the mid game setups? I mean, we all know that 6-3 open is optimal in TEC, but I like yeah, to see the players who freestyle the it, end who of the break day, who, the status quo. Who cares? Who cares? Not us. You're not, you're never going to, if you die in phase one, like, you just made a mistake. It's not a, I didn't do 6-3 mistake. So, like, do whatever you want. Sayonara being a little bit slow with the zone. A little bit defensive, and Shockey has a lot of garbage incoming, but has the opportunity to be on the offense here with the zone. Well, Sayonara is definitely just trying to build up some stack to come back with. Yeah, okay, quarter zone, gonna use that there. Okay, yeah, so I, like, I mean, Sai is gonna come out fine on the other side like of this. Like that dono from uh, from Shockey there. And uh, 
both kind of. Oh, Sai has got a great board. A little bit high up there, but found yeah. his way on the down stack. Shaki, some brilliant timing there from Shaki. Kind of just waiting, saw that that big spike was coming in, and just took it without accepting everything and putting himself in a bad situation. Sai with a little bit of a scary TST at the top of the board, finding his way down now. We oh. are uh, we're getting close to the phase three mark with Shaki over here with 52,000 points. Shaki very much um, the more aggressive player so far in this round. Right. Yeah. We have Sayonara zoning. Shaki zoning as well. I mean, Shaki at 59,000 points, definitely going to get put over into phase three. And... So close. Oh, that there was a go. very nice ulti very sound. Nice it's going to send ulti. one big chunk. And Sayo knows that that chunk is super messy and that he does might, not want to take just, that. Might have just made it worse yeah. for himself, though. Yeah. Mm. In the long run, you kind of have to. Shocky coming out aggressive 2 0 in this first three. Yeah, I think uh, the choice by Sayonara there to sort of just try to clear lines without much of a board. Uh, I think that just put put him too far behind. It's really kind of, I mean, it, it, you're kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't mm -hmm. in uh, scenarios like that. Where you know it's like, oh, that's one big chunk of cheese. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but I think, in my opinion, best way is to get out ahead of it and just try to accept it if you can. Like, it was definitely acceptable. Yeah. Board was low, but... The board went, was low, Went but with a, an arguably riskier play. Yeah, it was, a, it was a bit greedy to zone there, and Shockey knew exactly what to do in that situation, as um, a lot of top players, you know, would do the same thing there. If you notice that phase three is coming up, what Shockey did in that round is exactly what you're trying to do with that zone. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Sayo looking for a higher zone clear here. Oh, wow. Wow. That is a nice ulti solve. Leaving the board in a not great state, but because there's... Looks like a target board. <laughs> because there's a, a, you know, a bit of stack that Shaki has to work through, Sayo has some time to clean this up here. Very elegant uh, cleaning up of the board so far. Yeah. Ooh, I don't like that on this drop. All right, finding his way out of it. Good down stack from Sayo. Shockey again on the front foot in terms of scoring, about to put this over into phase three. Shockey is max zone. I would expect an up stack into a zone here um, so that hopefully he can have the same outcome as last round. Nope. No? There's the zone. Well, did the ding happen after the zone start or before? Uh, that was like a buzzer beater if it was before. I don't know if Shockey has the long zone or the short zone, but when you're fast, it actually doesn't matter. So. 37 attack. Let's uh, see what Sayo has to say. A 42. Still yeah. Still going to send a decent chunk, but... Yeah. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. All right. I've been, I have been informed mm -hmm. that the scores are reversed. Scores or potentially the, reversed, the and no one actually knows anything. Oh, we don't know who's playing I on which side. I do see the board that says Sayonara twelve oh one is the one that's on uh, Shockey's side. Yeah, so uh, that would mean oh, board so that two. Would mean yeah, so it's backwards. Sayonara who's up two oh. All right. Okay. Well, this is not the first time this is happening. Take everything we just said. And this happened in my it. tournament. Oh, well, yeah. don't forget it. Just replace the word Shaki with Sayonara. Yeah. Well, we were talking about the history of the <laughs> matchup. <laughs> and the... Anything. We, we make shit up. Okay. Yeah. Wait, this, yeah, this did happen the last time I was commentating with you. You're a bad luck charm. I'm not, I'm not the, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not the one calling the shots here. It's because TEC is, <laughs> it's literally a TEC yeah, exclusive issue. Yeah, no, it issue. is a TEC exclusive issue. All right, so Sayonara, Sayonara with the 3 0. Well, there you have it. After a little bit of confusion, Sayonara.
Well, no confusion for them. No confusion. They knew it was happening the entire time. We didn't. <laughs>